Hey guys, what's going on? It's Corbin Stucky of Pixel Talk here, and I wanted to do a different video tonight because I really wanted to talk about something that I've been going through for the past three years. So Attack on Titan Season 2 started this week. I've been wanting to watch that, and I'm going to review it. However, I need to watch Attack on Titan Season 1. I've only watched a couple episodes from Season 1, and here's the reason why. And this is actually something that's been on my mind since 2014, around that time, possibly later, or I don't, I don't know. I just remember it being relevant in 2014, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it because, you know, this matter hasn't been fixed yet, and I wanted to address it. Because apparently people aren't dealing with this problem in other regions like the United Kingdom. However, in the United States, this has not been addressed or fixed, and I wanted to make a YouTube video about it because it's really starting to get on my nerves because it kind of happened to me again. So back in 2014, uh, Attack on Titan was uh, very popular. You know, it gained a lot of traction, and I wanted to watch it. Say what you will about Attack on Titan today, it was a very popular anime when it came out in 2014 in the United States. Uh, Hot Topic had a lot of merchandise, people were buying it on Blu-ray, people were watching it on Netflix, but they were watching the original cut on Netflix. It was the Japanese version with English subtitles. And at the time, I didn't know that, and I wanted to watch this show because every time when I went to a convention or a comic book place or anything oriented to anime, or just like in public places like my college that I went to at the time, I saw a lot of people that had Attack on Titan attire. So I really wanted to get on board because I like being, you know, relevant with the times and watching shows that a lot of people like and getting references and Attack on Titan seemed like one of those shows that I should watch. And also because I like modern day animes. I like modern day uh, reference animes and Attack on Titan seemed like one of those shows that was being referenced a lot. So I go on Netflix in 2014 uh, at my college dorm apartment, whatever you want to call it, and I see that the English dub is not available for Attack on Titan. It's only English subtitles. Um, now, I tried watching the show, I've actually watched uh, the first five to six episodes, and I kind of stopped really because I have a problem with subtitles sometimes. If it's just a movie, that's fine. I can watch like a subtitle movie and do a review on it. I've done that plenty of times before. But if it's a whole entire series that has me just reading subtitles the entire time, I get a little annoyed. Like I said, I don't have a problem with reading subtitles, but if it's for a long extended amount of time and I'm spending a majority of my time reading subtitles and not watching the actual film, that can get pretty annoying because I want to enjoy the visuals of what I'm watching, especially anime. I want to enjoy the art. And Attack on Titan was one of those things that I wanted to watch. I wanted to watch the gore. I wanted to watch what was going on in the screen because you know, it, it's Attack on Titan. It's supposed to be really action-filled. And I also wanted to dabber into these characters because there's a lot of characters that Attack on Titan. But with this amount of characters, especially in a TV show, there's a lot of dialogue and there's a lot of reading when there's just the English sub. And I actually investigated as to why this is happening. Why is the English sub only available on Netflix? And I haven't really been able to find anything specific to the matter, but I did find on Reddit that it's just... A rights thing. Sad face. I don't know who owns the specific rights to the English dub. Uh, probably Funimation because you know Funimation is in charge of English dubs but uh, in terms of Netflix, uh, they only have the English subtitle and this is actually kind of weird too. The United Kingdom version of Netflix has the English dub. Why? Why do they have the English dub and we do not? Again, it's a rights thing. I guess they bought out the English dub thing, but that, that doesn't really make any sense though because Netflix is Netflix. So is there just like different like versions of Netflix, like different regions? I thought Netflix was just like a whole, it's a whole company. So that's a little weird that 
only the United Kingdom audience of Netflix can watch the English dub to Attack on Titan. I thought that was really weird to me and how it's so prevalent in the United States and so current and it's it doesn't even have an English dub on Netflix. I thought that was really weird. With the way that Netflix is going now and the popularity that's rising from Netflix, especially with shows like 13 Reasons Why, I'm watching that right now and I plan on doing a review on that soon, you would think that, you know, Funimation would want the English dub to be available on Netflix because th that's a huge deal. If you have your piece of work on Netflix, you're bound to get a lot of popularity and a lot of money. So why am I talking about this now? Because it's been three years since this problem has been you know, reoccurring in my life. Why am I talking about this now? Well, uh, One Punch Man. Okay, I am really excited to say that One Punch Man was released on Netflix. And I have been watching One Punch Man. However, I haven't been watching it on Netflix. I've actually been watching it on Line. I'm not gonna say the website that I've been watching it on or other websites that I've been using to watch anime because those websites might get taken down or maybe the videos will get taken down. So I'm not gonna mention where I watch my anime. However, when I found out that One Punch Man was being released on Netflix, I was really excited because that meant I could enjoy the show in my bed. I didn't have to watch it on my small desktop. I could watch it on TV. I was really excited to hear that. One Punch Man was being streamed on Netflix. So I added it on my queue, I went to class, and then I started thinking I was, I was in class, like, wait a minute, I didn't check something. So when I got home, I went on Netflix on my big screen TV, I checked the subtitles for One Punch Man, and it's the Japanese version with English subs. There's no English dub. I was very depressed after that because I really was looking forward to watching the show on my television screen. And knowing that it was the English sub only and I had to read again was really depressing to me. Another show that I was really looking forward to getting invested in was now being portrayed on Netflix only with the English subtitles. What is going on Netflix? I'm starting to notice a trend here. Other anime shows on Netflix that you might say are nostalgic, like say uh, Naruto and shows like that that have been around for a very long time, those shows have English dubs. Netflix has no problems with getting a hold of those shows with English dubs because they've been out for a very long time. Those are nostalgic. We are aware of Naruto and shows like that that have been around uh, since we've been kids on Toonami in the you know early 2000s or mid 2000s like Netflix has no problems with getting those shows with English ups however shows that are more relevant and modern and very popular like Attack on Titan in 2014 and One Punch Man in 2017 those are hard to get a hold of you can't really get English dubs for those on streaming lines like you know on Netflix. So I'm seeing what the problem here is if the show is modern or relevant or popular, you're going to have to pay for it. You're going to have to get it on Blu-ray. You're going to have to get an account on Funimation.com and stream the show from there. That's what this is. Is like if the show is popular, it, you're going to have to find the English dub a, another way by paying for it. You can't just watch it on Netflix. Even though you're kind of already paying for Netflix, it's it's really weird. I, I don't know what's going on, honestly. And it's not just shows that are modern and relevant. It's also for really popular shows like Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z isn't even available on Netflix, but if you go on Hulu, it's available on Hulu, except that a majority of the series is in its Japanese form. All of the episodes have English subs. However, there are portions of the show, I think it's from like episode one to 40, I, I'm not entirely sure. This was like a few years back when I checked this out, but um, the show, only like a limited amount of episodes are in their English dub from Funimation. So I don't really know what the point of that was. Um, I don't really understand why that all the episodes have English subtitles, like all the episodes are there, but there are certain episodes one through 40 that have English dub. I, I believe it's a Frieza saga. I'm not sure what the number is, one through 40, one through 80, I, I, I have no idea. I'm just, my, the point I'm trying to make is it's really weird that all the episodes are on there, but a limited amount of episodes have English dub. So 
did they just get the rights to a limited amount of episodes to have English dubs? That, that doesn't make any sense. I, are they just trying to tease us? That's really weird. Hulu, what are you doing? So I just wanted to make this relevant. I wanted to talk about it because, you know, it's good to talk about things and I have an audience on this channel and hopefully you guys can share this video and reach out to Netflix, you know, stating that this is a problem. Why are we not getting English dubs? Maybe some people just prefer the originality of the Japanese versions. Maybe they want to witness the shows uh, from their original content and voice work. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I'm just speculating at this point. But like me as uh, someone who watches anime from the United States, I like to watch it with the English dub. I have no problem with work being done from its original format and getting it out there. Like that's fine. But I would also like the option of watching it in its English format because I have a problem with reading subtitles and not watching the entire show. I want to look at it forward. I don't want to be looking down at the bottom of the screen just so I can read dialogue. I want to hear dialogue. I'm sorry, I am not going to take a class just to learn Japanese. I want to be able to fully watch my show. So if we can maybe do something like go on Twitter and like reach out to Netflix saying like, hey, Netflix, you still haven't released the English dub to Attack on Titan and you haven't released the English dub to One Punch Man. I really want to make this a thing. So if we could just go on Twitter or reach out to Netflix in some way, I would really appreciate it because Attack on Titan Season 2 has started and I really want to watch the rest of Attack on Titan Season 1. However, I can't because the English dub isn't available. I will watch it on my computer and I'll try to like find a website that has that available but I really wanted to watch it on my big screen TV and now I, I can't because this problem hasn't been fixed for three years and I just really felt the necessity to address this topic and I'm sure a lot of people agree with me. Comment down below what you think of this. Let me know if there's a reasoning why this is the way it is. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts and just, you know, if you have any information, I'd like to hear it. And please subscribe to Pixel Talk for more videos. I'd really appreciate it. More anime reviews are going to be coming soon in the future. So if you like anime, subscribe to the channel. If you have any anime recommendations, comment down below and I'll check them out. Thank you guys so much. I am Corbin Stuckey and this is Pixel Talk.